Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here with a two package, two package mail day for you guys. Uh, one is a tribute mail day. I got a nice tribute trade in from a fellow YouTuber. And I also got some uh, two football cards and a hockey card as well for uh, another, a fellow YouTuber. So um, before I get into those guys, just some things that I wanted to say, just some of my thoughts. Um, I decided to keep a lot of stuff bottled up, but um, just some stuff that I wanted to express. Some of my thoughts and some recent happenings. Um, here's an example I guess I'll put up. If, uh, if you have a video up, it doesn't matter what type of video it is. If you have a video up and somebody leaves a negative, uh, we won't call it a negative, but let's call it a maybe a bit sarcastic or a smartass comment on your video. Um, since it is your video and your channel, I think you have every right to, one, maybe uh, defend yourself possibly, or try to uh, put the other person back in their place, because obviously they're trying to knock you down a peg, and um, block the person. That's, that's your right. It's your channel. You can do whatever you want. Uh, that's your First Amendment right, I guess. Um, your First Amendment right, and it's also on the flip side, on the other side of the token, I guess, it's the other person's right to post a video, upload a video, and uh, bash you for uh, what you've done, the atrocity, the, uh, well, the unbelievable thing that you have done. And uh, that's their First Amendment right as well. We all have First Amendment rights in the U.S. Um, even me, I'm in Japan, but I'm still a U.S. citizen, so I can still claim that somehow. But um, yeah, we, we, we have that right. That's our channel. It's our channel. We can do whatever we want. But I think one of the important things that we can learn from this is when somebody puts up a video just basically bashing you, um, calling you some really rotten things, some really vulgar words, it's uh, it's really interesting to kind of take a look and and see the comment trail left by other people that are watching that video and kind of egging that person on, saying, "Hey, wow, way to go, man! What an awesome video! Um, way to way to uh, call the guy a dickhead, or way to way to call the guy a douche, or uh, you know, I couldn't have said it any better. That that's amazing. Um, you know, when you say things, for example, like." Um, I wouldn't care if you died, because you're a dick. Like, it's just stuff like that. Like, really, it really brings out a lot about a person's character. And that's just something that I've noticed recently. And I've noticed a lot of uh, other people that, like I said, are egging this person on and leaving, um, I wouldn't say similar comments. They're not quite as negative, but they're not exactly supportive either. So, looking at that, if I was the one that was possibly being attacked or bashed, um, I would feel, I would be really sad. I'm not going to bullshit you guys. I would be really sad. I would, I don't know. It'd be very disappointing. I'd really hope that some more people would try to help me out, maybe stand up for me a little bit. I don't know. I mean, like I said, you can block the person. Maybe you just don't care. I don't care. That's fine. He can do whatever he wants. But for me, I think, I don't care about that person. You can't really change that other person. If he wants to call you a douche or a dickhead or talk about uh, your untimely timely demise or whatever, then that's, that's totally their thing. Um, but really looking at the person's comment trail on the video and, and getting an idea of some of the other people in the community and uh, going, wow, there are some people that are like that. Some people that maybe you didn't really consider them to be your friends, but people that have commented on your videos or maybe gotten into some of your contests, possibly. They're not really sticking up for you, and that's just, honestly, that's just damn disappointing. So when I saw that, um, for example, I'm not going to say anything specific, but um, that was just something that uh, kind of, that would blow me back, I guess. That, that's something that would uh, kind of blow me back. So with that being a side, uh, with that off to the side now, guys. I apologize for that. Um, I'm not in any trouble, by the way, so don't PM me asking me what's going on. Um, just something, some thoughts that I have, and um, yeah, I'm just uh, out supporting some of my good friends on here. But into the cards, guys. Um, I did get two packages in. One is coming in from Max and Ike's Cards. Thank you very much for that, brother. I appreciate it. Um, it did take a qu quite a while for this one to come in. Because if you take a look at the address, he didn't actually write Japan on the address. I think it's like written inside. It suppose like the end looks like a W, so it's like Japao. <laughs> so uh, I think somebody at the post office actually wrote. I'll go ahead and show it. But somebody actually in the post office actually wrote had to write like Japan on the bottom in different handwriting. So and then uh, also USA as well on the other flip side. So um, it did take a little bit a little bit of time to get to me. But here are the two cards that I got in. Um, from Tribute, like I said, Max and Ike's cards. Link's going to be down below, by the way. I believe he's trying to move some stuff right now, so he might be able to get a good deal. Um, he did give me a good deal on these, but nice uh, Ian Kinsler. 
This is the uh, dual position of power out of 99. I have the orange already out of 25, but this is just one that I really like. And then the uh, the next card up is a really nice Jesus Montero Auto. The blue version out of 50. I used to have one of these from uh, Finest, I believe, actually. A nice Jesus Montero Rookie Auto, but I went ahead and moved that in the uh, charity auction that I had. So, pretty cool card here. I'm really happy to pick up another Jesus Montero Auto, even if he is in a Yankees uniform. But a uh, really nice low numbering there. So thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Like I said, links can be down below, guys. And then the uh, last package is one that I've been waiting on for quite a while. Um, like I said, it's two football cards and one hockey card. Starting off with a hockey card first. This one's available. This is pretty much going to be the only card available in this video if you're really interested. But it is a, a Joe Sakic. Sakic. Sorry, I'm not very good with hockey players. But this is numbered out of 10. This is from All Time Greats, Upper Deck All Time Greats. Really solid looking card. Um, Really thick as well, so I like this one a lot. But if you're interested, they actually go for pretty decent money. But if you're interested, let me know. And then the last two cards, uh, let's see. Mr. Bo Jackson, right there. That'll probably give you guys an idea of where more than likely these cards will be going. But uh, this one is also uh, numbered out of 10. Really low numbering right there. Very, very cool card. And then um, another Bo Jackson. But this is actually the auto. This is the all-time greats auto. Letterman auto. Numbered, hand numbered, by the way out of a 140 and originally when I saw the scan of this when I picked it up um, I thought that the autograph was actually on the patch which I thought was kinda weird because I don't know why they would put blue ink on top of a blue patch but then when I actually received the card you can see that the auto itself is actually on some type of um, plastic coating plastic covering so uh, you don't have to worry about the ink spreading or running on the patch which I've seen quite a bit in some of the other products but Way to go, Upper Deck, for trying to think outside the box, maybe, or I don't know, putting something together that's a, a little bit different. But uh, I just wish there was a bit of a different color on the auto. Can't really see it. Maybe silver would have been nice, maybe gold, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Maybe the silver that they used up here, they could have used over here. But anyways, yeah, so that's my uh, mail day for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, none of the cards here are really going to be available, except for the hockey card. But um, yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Sorry about the beginning. But uh, if you're interested in the hockey card, let me know. And, uh, yeah, happy collecting as always, guys. Really appreciate it. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.